Welcome back to the ETA RPG podcast where we play Metroid because we happen to. No, uh, it's because <laughs> it's Metroid. I mean, seriously, how can, how can you not? Um, yes. So, what I was telling before, or what I mentioned before, was the difference between narrative games and simulation games. Simulationist type of games are um, they try to model reality, physics insofar. And D&D is very much, very much a simulationist game. Well, it started as a, a war game. Yes, which is incredibly simulationist. They, it was uh, meant to model uh, medieval warfare and then somebody said, hey, what if I took this cannon and crew <laughs> and made it a dude with a pointy hat and instead of cannonballs, I called them fireballs. Yay! And then Castle Blackmore happened, and then Greyhawk, and, and so on and so forth, and then, you know, Hasbro owns it now. And so you get My Little Pony, the D20 game. But I digress. Okay, so um, there, there is a power-up in here somewhere. It totally is. I don't know where it is, so I'm just going to keep talking. Um, oh, there it is. We found it! It's the one place without spikes that I can jump. <laughs> <laughs> so... D&D does an actually very accurate job of modeling reality, so long as you don't look at it too hard. Um, strength scores, dexterity scores all have modifiers, and they, you know, there, there are distinct numbers of, like, difficulty classes for various tasks and everything. Strength modeling, carrying capacity, how much shit you can drag around without being weighed down. It makes sense, and if you do the math like uh, a respectable gaming blogger, the Alexandrian, has done uh, in challenging one's preconceptions about D&D, yeah, it's it's a pretty good model of how people do things, and it's it's a good system for simulating reality. Fate, on the other hand, is a narrative game where its purpose is not really giving two shits about I think I'm gonna is it physically possible for this character to do what I'm asking him to do. Fate is more concerned with what kind of story are we telling here? And that's where the biggest disconnects come from. Right. So my long drawn out explanation that probably was well was longer because I was fighting Metroids at yeah. the time. L long drawn out because we were very distracted at the time. Um, you could totally say I am going to increase Samus's physique score because that governs her hit points because she's more experienced and probably will say she found an energy tank. That's great if it made sense for the story, if that to have happened in the story that you went through. If it didn't, then you could still increase your physique if you want, just for a different reason. But I'm, I'm straying from the point that I want to make. Um, to model Samus's abilities in D&D &D would actually be quite easy. It would be a series of, say, magic or specialized gear that she finds and then utilizes in her adventures. She goes around gallivanting and... And doesn't in, afraid of anything. Well, yeah, she goes through, essentially, dungeons. Yeah, the, this is a long finds loot, dungeons crawl, a dungeon crawl. Fights yeah. enemies, gets better, and gets a bunch of loot. You never see Samus level up, so maybe D&D might not be the best place, well, but she does find a lot of magic gear. It depends on how, the, how you're rating the level ups, because um, once again, you have... There are systems of D&D and Pathfinder where... or There are, there are ways to play D&D without... Um, where... Sorry, I'm still distracted. Um, where everything is sort of done through your equipment is... Or even you are theme... Like, there's no... Ooh sci-fi-ish. I mean, there's plenty of sci-fi D&D type games, but you could 
simulate a lot of Samus's things by saying, oh, she has leveled up or whatever, and this is how it manifests itself. Especially if you uh, could, yeah, yeah, do, do it like a, 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 a fourth ed d d game, where oh, uh, yeah, all that's... the stuff she's getting are powers. That's fair. I, I can I can see that happening. Um, however, it's it's still trying to simulate oh, the fact that she would not have power ups. Hey, what we get? Space, Space jump. jump. Okay, oh. so yay. Okay, time to go. In in a D and D game, or high. Samus would get to this room. She gets space jump, and then immediately have a boss fight or a boss encounter. And the space jump would be a cool new power. And you know, this would probably be a good time to. Oh God, that is some caustic vomit. Um. Missile him! Missile him! Good. I'm missling him as good as I can, but the wave beam seems to work better. How? Uh, it's not nearly as strong, is it? Um, so if I hit him down here, it does nothing, whereas the wave beam, um, I don't have to be as accurate with it. Oh, only because it wiggles. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it's the wiggle beam. Anyway. So, yeah, um... So, I, I can imagine, say, the space jump leading to bonuses on jump checks and jump checks resolving as you scored this high on your jump check. That means you get this, this, and this far, and You can so now get an attack bonus, because, really, almost everything in D&D comes back to an attack bonus, because it started as a simulation type game, so... Well, no, it started as a war game. That's right. why everything comes down to a attack bonus. Or a... Oh, he's pissed now. He's doing the stern walk. However... He's gonna tell my mother that <laughs> I've been misbehaving in class. <laughs> Young lady! But... Fate doesn't particularly care about the simulate... Like, how far can you jump? It's more concerned with... Can you overcome this particular obstacle Ooh. by jumping? Okay, he's dead. So, sorry. In a D and D game. Uh, not fuck. Hello. How are you? Activating bird jets. This is why you have space jump, not just for jumping over some poor sap's head. God. So yeah, um, in a game of D and D, someone who's got say a jump check of thirty is clearly better at jumping and can jump a whole lot farther than someone with a jump check of five. It's just how the numbers will roll out, how dice rolls are resolved, that's just how the reality works. How you do. But in Fate, if I've got a jump check of, say, four, which is pretty damn high for a starting character, it's not that I jump better than a character with a jump skill of one, it's that I am better at solving problems by jumping than the other guy. Because fate models its actions not on what discrete actions am I taking, like jumping over a barrier or uh, picking a lock or sneaking around a corner or looking for something, trying to perceive it, the various skills you'll find on a D&D character sheet, but more of there is an obstacle. I must overcome it. I need to create an advantage to stack the deck in my favor. I need to attack something to remove it as a, an agent in a scene, or I need to defend against someone's attempts to do the same. Those are the only actions you really do in the game side of Fate, and everything else just becomes flavored as, all right, so you're attacking this guy. What does that mean you're doing? And that's actually the most backwards way of thinking about it, because you're supposed to say, I want to riddle this bird guy full of shots and uh, overwhelm his options to keep him from moving around the battlefield. That's what you're, you're doing in the story right now. <sighs> to what end? It clearly is I am attacking him to try and remove I, him I from play. him up. Is <laughs> yeah. I have removed him. God, I feel like I am rambling on with no, no concrete you narrative. Are, you are just fine considering that I have what, <laughs> what I was dealing with right there. Oh my god. Um, yeah. But now we can jump forever. 
Yay, forever jumping. See, in a D&D game, you'd be silly, you'd be super jazzed to be jumping forever. And it would probably have to come with a whole bunch of balance issues or whatever. People would be bitching about it on forums, like this this item is totally OP. This, this, this item's how, broken. How, how could you totally how could you uh, include that this this totally obviates this class or that class? Yada yada yada. This this kind of item, the space jump, would totally get letters. Oh. There's, there's, for you. there's just a random missile tank in here. Alright. Oh. However, thank god a save point. <laughs> In fate, it's just okay. You can jump forever now. Does does it matter for the story? Then, great. It's then, then congratulations. You can jump forever. What what what? I, I think we've neglected to mention the fact that aspects are a facet of the game. Well, in that, fate that, that was, are really 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 important. Yeah, that's and actually in fact, where without fa without aspects, the game would not exist. Well, yeah, because the space jump is, in essence, what? There's a thing up here. Right? Um, in essence, just parts. Oh, hi. Hello. <laughs> um, just parts of Samus's power suit, which would be an aspect of hers, more than likely. Yeah. And quite possibly, the power suit itself oh. could just be um, one aspect. I, I, I got knocked I, down. I think he. Oh, he, yes. He, he done shot you into the next room. Yeah, he, uh, he removed the, the, the underneath from me. Or um, a missile blew it up while you no, were standing on it. No, uh, so... Well, when the missiles explode and not tink off of his shell, they blow up a huge amount of dirt near them, and if he was oh, on true, top of you, I, I think... and you hit him... Oh, no, he can clear it himself, never mind. Yeah. Or he can die. Well, dying, yeah, is, dying is the thing I want him to do. Um, but... So, yeah, aspects are short phrases that describe the reality of a character, a room, a situation, etc. They are things that are true. Um, Until they're not. They, well, In which case they're, they're not just things that are true, they are things that are true and relevant. And, uh, uh, I think I'm gonna be getting a speed booster soon. Or you could get shot out of a cannon. <laughs> that, that could, this that is could not happen. Secret of Mana. Well, no, there could totally be a, a morph ball accelerator in the room before. Oh, uh, well, and we haven't seen uh, those. Were, those were in Zero Mission, and we haven't seen them here yet. So they might not be in this game. Oh, well, fine, oh. Killjoy. I, I'm sorry. Oh, they, they, they become more if I kill them. Hi. <laughs> These things remind me of Mega Man Two enemies. They are I'm, not I'm just, cool. I'm just going to ignore them, and keep, oh, I'm apparently not going to ignore them. You should ignore them anyway, because they like to sit on your face. Stop it! Stop sitting and not on my tell face! You, and not tell you that they love you. You should at least tell me. You should buy you dinner first, jeez. Well, that seems to be Samus' problem, is that no one buys her dinner first. Uh, I don't know how to answer that. Um, anyway. Yeah, I'm so, not expecting you to answer that, honestly. Yeah, so you can have aspects like, uh... I'm Tony Stark. The high concept aspect could be uh, billionaire, billionaire, playboy, philanthropist, billionaire genius, playboy, philanthropist. Or and uh, he could have another aspect, which is I'm uh, Iron Man. Where, where do I keep getting all of these toys, or something like that? Oh, Spacer beam. beam. It, it's now you can aim less. In, in no way related to Gazer Beam from The Incredibles. And it's also in no way related to the Mazer Beam, or the Phaser Beam, or the Banana Fana Faux Phaser Beam. What about the Ray Gun? Uh, just for Ray. Well, it, it, just, it, shoots, it shoots harder if your name is Ray. You know, I've never played that game with someone whose name actually is Rain gets the benefit. I don't think that. anybody's named that anymore. Like, it's against the law after everybody loves Raymond. They realize that no, everyone does no not. One, no one, in fact, loves Raymond. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, <laughs> That's I'm why not. the show got canceled. It's like, they're, I can't. We're living a lie, even though we're playing characters. No one loves Raymond. I Rain. can't do it. I can't do it. Um, and it, it, you were, you were... I interrupted a point that you were making. Yes, aspects. and now I can, yeah aspects. So they're they're things that are true, and there was a really really cool uh, blog that I found about playing superheroes in Fate, where your aspects would have 
power facts associated with them. And it was just a, a listing of... This is this is the aspect I use that says I I have superpowers. Oh, like and I am then Iron you would, Man means you can fly. Yeah, and it's just okay. The 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 aspect that gives you your superpowers, you would then have a little list saying what those superpowers would entail. Like, can you fly? Can you lift heavy shit? Can you breathe underwater? Can you jump really far? Yeah, have you met Ted? Have you met Ted? Can you meet Ted? Can you create Ted clones? Um, no, oh, Ted clones. Th those would be your power facts would, would on this Ted particular list. Would Ted clones cock block other Ted clones? Yes. I, I don't know how that works. I think you have to run through this room. Uh, I think you have to run through this room. Shh. I have to bomb this. I think you have to run through this room. No, I, 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 I get that. I don't have a speed <laughs> booster. Oh, and you know, I thought we had it. No, we don't. When? We got the spring ball, and we just got the spacer beam. Uh, I no, swear we had the. I, I'm telling you, we don't. I, I'll check my equipment. See, I've got the Varia suit and the power suit. Got the charge beam, the wave beam, what and the spacer. What fresh hell have I been watching? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. Uh, have you been God. watching other channels, Pat? Yes. It, it, all right, let's 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 deal with these marital issues next time. I, you know, Pat, I really need to have a talk with you about what you've been doing. With you know, I think you need to go get that speed booster and run to the next room, next time. You know, Pat, I, I just I can't believe that you are doing this to me. What? Think of the kids. Play, play the play the end music. <laughs> Just for the night, I live it out like I'm never 